Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Mart Home Mondays. It is Monday, so it's time for another episode. But quickly, before we get into the episode, uh, I just want to make a quick announcement that I've got a video coming out tomorrow morning, so Tuesday morning, 7am, it's a bit of a Christmas special, I need you to watch it all, I think you're going to love it. going to bring a bit of festive cheer to the to the uh, time of year, and I think, I think it's going to be a winner-winner chicken dinner. So stay tuned for that, tomorrow morning, 7am. Right, let's crack on with the question, shall we? First one, do you have storage lockers uh, for big items that you can't put inside the motorhome? Uh, I've got a storage locker outside, which is for the gas bottles. So if they weren't there, like you had underslung gas tank, then you could use that. But the only outside storage I have, which some motorhomes have a lot more than me and I don't, which is where I lack, I have a back box, which is just out there. Um, so like my, camping chair goes in that my uh fire pit goes in that fishing gear uh ramps leveling ramps they all go in that so yeah that's what i've got so but don't put anything of real value because it is it's out there is exposed you know not had any problems but you know next question do you get any problems with condensation in the winter months now i'm going to do a video about this because it's quite a big issue um but overall not really um i've just recently bought a window vac uh by karcher because I, I played with uh gadget john's one uh, when i was at his uh, a couple of weeks ago and it's brilliant you can use it upside down and when there is condensation on the windows in the in the, in the front you can just get rid of all of that so you're actually taking it out and you pour it outside um but when i when i do cooking i crack the skylight and i put my max uh, max fan deluxe on just a very minute uh, on like 10 percent just to take the condensation out of cooking um and then i i do have some of the windows cracked quite uh, uh often even when i've got the heating on just to let because it is a wet heat i believe gas is wet heat is that right moisture heat i don't know what you want to call it um so yeah there there is a little bit of that but no as a whole i don't really suffer from it unless it's really 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 cold out then any heat in here will make condensation on the windows but you know you just deal with it you know if you if you can see a lot of condensation then you know dry it down throw it away whatever but no as a whole no but i'm going to do a video about it and what my thoughts are so that'll be coming uh, how do you stay warm in the motorhome during the winter? Well, I've got a gas fire uh, with blown air. So, yeah, I just use LPG to heat the motorhome. Um, and I, I love it. It's silent, completely silent. That's the one thing that's keeping me to the LPG heater rather than going to the uh, Chinese diesel heater. And then Chinese diesel heaters. Now, I have a diesel night heater in my truck. And it's a very dry, very warm, very very harsh heat it's very very hot sounds pretty obvious for a heater <laughs> but um and the gas fire is different and but it's silent you can't hear it at all there is no and it doesn't need any electric it doesn't you know there's no noise made if uh, i don't even have to use a blown air so uh next question following on from that how much gas are you using now it's winter i'm using about a bottle every Maybe 10 days, maybe. And that's a 7 kilo bottle uh, of LPG. About every 10, you know, between, yeah, 10 to 12 days. I I, I use mine for everything. So I do, and I, I cane mine a lot. So I, I assume I'm going to use a bottle a week in winter. Because why not? You know, it's not, it's not ridiculous price. A bottle is about 7, 8 pound. Depending on where I fill it up, so we're looking at thirty quid for the month, thirty-five quid. So I like it warm in here, and I use it for my for my heating, my cooking, my hot water, my fridge. I use it for everything. So I don't think that's too bad, really. So not too bad, not too bad at all. Another question is following on from that: Do you leave your gas on full time? And this is going to be controversial, and I can imagine the comments I'm going to get already. But yes, I do. I leave mine on full time. The only time I turn it off is if I was going on a ferry, if I had to go on a ferry. 
go on major tunnels, then I'd turn it off then. Uh, and when I change the actual bottle. Apart from that, no, it stays on. I leave my fr fridge on gas 24-7, 365 days a year. Like I say, only when, only turns off when uh, when I change the bottle. And some people are going to say it's unsafe, but you know, we're driving around in three-ton vehicles. That's unsafe as itself. You know, there's vehicles out there that have got LPG running through their system to actually power them. They could be unsafe. Everything could be unsafe. You, you step outside in the morning, that, that can be unsafe. I've been driving for two and a half years. With it on, no problems. And lastly, going along with the time of the year, do you drain your water tank every day in winter because of freezing conditions? Now, I don't know what water tank you're talking about. Um, the fresh water tank, no, that stays there. That's inside right under where I'm sitting right now. So that usually stays quite warm and above freezing. Um, my grey water tank in winter, I nine times out of ten leave it open because I don't want that tank freezing um, and it just lets the whole system breathe. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that, but yeah, it lets the whole system breathe because it is cold. I don't want anything staying in the pipes. I don't want anything staying in the tank that's only wastewater. It's only dishwater or it's shower water. So no, it stays, you know, that's it. But no, I don't empty my fresh water tank because I need it. It's fresh water. That's what I've got it for. So it just stays there and I don't really have any problems. But right. That is this week's My Home Monday. If, if you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in this one below or any of my other videos. Um, thanks for all the, uh, all the love and all the views. And like I say, stay tuned for tomorrow's video, 7am. It's going to be a festive treat. Take it easy, guys. Bye.